Townsville's Hit 103.1. Townsville Dental Centre. Emergency appointments seven days a week. Call 1300 for my teeth. Hit News Briefing. Hi, it's Dan Flake here with your news briefing. There's now another COVID vaccine available to Australians and it's here a week early. The Novavax jab was due to roll out Feb 21, but the TGA has approved it ahead of schedule. This vaccine has a slightly different composition than the others available. Meantime, the health ministers weighed in on talk about boosters and international travel. Ataki's recommended fully vaccinated should mean three doses. Greg Hunt says there will be domestic and international rules around what constitutes fully vaccinated for the time being. Atagi advice, the Atagi advice is expressed that it relates to domestic. Our international advice as a Commonwealth is that uh, we will continue to require the double vaccination rate. There's been a little over 50 deaths related to the virus reported nationwide today. The PMs met with reps from India, the US and Japan as part of the Quad Strategic Partnership. Climate change, COVID and China's influence in the Indo-Pacific region are expected to be high on the agenda. And it's official, koalas are now endangered in New South Wales, the ACT in Queensland, following an important status update from the federal government. The Australian Conservation Foundation says we knew about this 10 years ago. Barsha Sussex says they would have liked to have seen something happen sooner considering development and mining applications approved in recent years. In the last decade, the koala has gone from vulnerable to endangered. And in that same period, we've actually seen an increase in approvals made by the federal government to destroy koala habitat. Introducing the Staria Load, Hyundai's new commercial van that fits in everything. And now it even comes loaded with a $1,000 bonus for ABN holders. Test drive today. Australia's picked up its third medal in Beijing with snowboarder Scotty James bagging silver in the men's half-pipe final. The 27-year-old was leading the pack briefly before Japan's Ayumu Hirano scored a 96 to take gold. I really hope people don't think that I'm at all disappointed. I'm absolutely incredibly over the moon and you know, I'm, I came out and gave it my best shot, and that's all we can ask for as athletes. I work really hard. That audio thanks to Seven and the Aussie team with the national In the slight chance of a shower for Townsville this afternoon, 32 the top. It's going to drop down to 25 tonight. Similar conditions tomorrow and 32. Our listener app is the home of radio, podcasts, music and news. Join up to listen live or on demand now.